Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this and share these videos with anyone else studying for the CCNA. In this lab, we will troubleshoot some problems with ACL configurations. This is the same topology as the previous lab, with the same ACLs, except I have made three misconfigurations. There are four ACLs. One is correct, and the other three have mistakes. Let's get started. So the first ACL should prevent PC4 from accessing the 10.4.4.0 slash 24 network. Let's see if PC4 can ping server 1 which is in the 10.4.4.0 network. Ping 10.4.4.100. Looks like PC4 is able to reach server 1, so there must be a misconfiguration. I applied the ACL on R2, so let's check there. Enable. Show access lists. Okay, there's the issue. The order of statements in the ACL is wrong. Because the permit any statement is first, all traffic is allowed. I have to put the deny host before the permit any. So 10.2.2.12 will be denied, and then all other traffic will be allowed. I'll remove the ACL and then redo it. Conf T. No access list 1. Access list 1, deny host, 10.2.2.12. Access list 1, permit any. Okay, let's try that ping again from PC4. Ping 10.4.4.100. Okay, now we get the destination host unreachable message. That's good. Can other hosts reach server 1? I'll try from PC3. Ping 10.4.4.100. Okay, it's working now. Let's move on to the next ACL. PC5 shouldn't be able to access the 2001 DB8 2222 64 network. Let's try to ping from PC5 to server 2. Ping 2001 DB8 22 22 double colon 100. Okay, the ping works, so there's another misconfiguration here. I applied the ACL on R1, so let's investigate. Enable Show Access Lists. Here's the access list, it looks good denying from PC5 to the correct subnet. Maybe it isn't applied correctly. Show IPv6 interface G02. Outgoing access list G02 in. There's the problem. The ACL should be inbound, not outbound or outgoing, because traffic from PC5 to the 2001 DB8 2222 subnet will be entering the G02 interface, not exiting. The return traffic coming back from server 2 has the source and destination IP addresses reversed, so the ACL lets them by. Let's reapply the ACL inbound. Conf T, interface G02, no IPv6 traffic filter, G02 in, out. IPv6 traffic filter, G02 in, in. Okay, let's try that ping again. Ping 2001, DB8, 22, 22, 100. Okay, now we get the destination host unreachable message from R1. Let's test the next ACL. PC3 shouldn't be able to communicate with PC1. Let's try a ping from PC3 to PC1. 
ping 10.1.1.11. Destination host unreachable. Looks good. Now PC4 should be able to reach PC1. Let's test it out. Ping 10.1.1.11. Okay, the ping is successful. So this ACL seems to be functioning properly. Now our final ACL should allow PC6 to Telnet to R2, but not other IPv6 hosts like PC5. Let's try to Telnet from PC6. Telnet 2001 DB8 12 12 double colon two. Looks good, I'll enter the password of CCNA. Okay, we're in. Exit. So that seems fine, but PC5 shouldn't be able to telnet to R2. Let's try to telnet from PC5. Telnet 2001 DB8 12 12 double colon two. Okay, here's the problem. PC5 is also able to telnet to R2. Let's investigate on R2. Do show access lists. Permit TCP host with the IP address of PC6. Any equals Telnet. That looks good. So let's check how the ACL is applied. Do show run. Okay, there's the issue. The ACL is applied to the console line, not the VTY lines, which are used for Telnet. Let's remove and then reapply it. Let me copy the command first, and then let's remove it. Line console zero, I'll paste it here, and then cancel it with no. Okay, now let's reapply it. Line VTY 015. And now I'll paste it here once more. Okay, let's test again. I'll Telnet from PC5. Telnet 2001, DB8, 12, 12, 2. Good, it doesn't work this time. But can PC6 still Telnet? Let's try. Telnet 2001, DB8, 12, 12, 2. Password CCNA. Okay, all of our ACLs are working now. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.